It's a Friday night, and your friends decided that you're cool enough to get invited to their party. But you turn them down because you're a weeb. Now you're in the middle of an important Death Note binge, and you can't wait to see Light take down L. So you head home, finish the series, and decide to watch some content about it on YouTube. Suddenly, you stumble upon a guy making a ridiculous amount of money by watching and reviewing anime. Yes, you guessed it. This person is none other than Guk Guk Guk. You're probably like, what did he just say? It's not Guk Guk, it's Gigok. This YouTube channel is a corner of the internet where our favorite anime senpai lets loose and shares his unapologetic, biased thoughts on all things anime and manga. Whether he's ranting about the latest version or season of Attack on Titan, or musing about the intricacies of Bleach, Gigak is never one to shy away from his showing his true feelings. So in today's video, I'll be discussing on how a young boy with a dream became one of the most influential figures in the anime industry. If you're here and you're interested, drop a like. But now we're on to the legend of Gigak. Born to the name Grant Maniatafo, the life of Gigak the Weeb began May 31st, 1990. Although his parents are from Thailand, he was raised in Brighton, England. It's located somewhere on the east coast of the UK, right about here on a map. Gigak started his YouTube channel called The Anime Zone on May 4th, 2006, when he was only 16. He used the online alias Gigak because it combines his family name, Gig, with UK, the country he's from. However, it wasn't until June 2007 that he made his first video, titled Anime Zone Bleach Anime Review. He wrote, recorded, and edited the video all in one night as a way to procrastinate for studying for a math exam. But this procrastination will mark the beginning of a career that he had no idea would open up so many opportunities to him. At first, Gigak thought he'd just upload one measly video and call it quits. But his first video received a whopping 5 views, which means that was more than enough just to push him over the edge and keep creating. So on September 25th, 2007, he made a video called Anime Zone Lucky Star First Impressions. And then again on November 12th, 2007, he made Anime Zone The Harem Genre. During these crucial formative years, Gigak would focus on making mostly reviews and opinion-based videos about shows and tropes of the anime genre. He was one of the first creators on the platform to review an anime or its content, which helped him establish a foothold within the industry. His videos may have not been anything special in terms of editing, but his quirky otaku personality and his script writing abilities were beyond anything we've seen before. In the coming years, he would embark on a wild ride with YouTube fame from his AZ rants and other hilarious videos like, like Anime is Dying and Anime Sucks. Despite being a busy electrical engineering student, he managed to squeeze massive amounts in the time for his channel, even churning out an epic 8-part series of the top 20 coolest anime characters, which ended up being twice as long as his dissertation, which is like an essay. Yo, who the fuck wrote this? I did? Okay. Thanks to his tireless effort and unrelenting determination, his online fame continued to skyrocket. On August 13th, 2012, at the ripe old age of 22, he became a permanent panelist on the popular anime podcast Podtaku, alongside with fellow reviewers Akira, Holden, and Jenny. Just two months later, Gigak would introduce the world to another classic series, EV Abridged in which he hilariously dubbed over the anime Evangelion with his signature brand of satire. Where'd all this yogurt come from? And why does it smell weird? And that's how I lost my virginity! But despite all of his success, Gigak wasn't just in it for the fame. He was having a blast meeting light-minded folks who shared his passion for anime. In fact, it was during this time that he met his now wife, Sydney. However, challenges were ahead for him, and he would have to use his gambaru to overcome them. Unfortunately, life is not always sunshine and rainbows. After graduating in 2004, Gigak took a job as a broadcast engineer at BBC, which is America NBC or CNN. 
While he was grateful for the opportunity, he found himself being miserable, longing for the days where he can spend his time watching and reviewing anime. Over the next two years, he would only upload eight videos, causing many of his fans to call for his return. It seemed as though the end was near for Gigok and his career. And so, just like Kirito saving his harms of damsels in distress, he bravely took control of his career and made a bold decision to quit his job and focus all of his energy on YouTube and its content creation. He worked tirelessly producing hit after hit, including the beloved series Anime in Minutes. It was also around this time that he fully embraced the alias Gigok and let go of the name Anime Zone, symbolizing his commitment to the channel and his career. Gigok's hard work paid off and his channel has experienced tremendous growth in the following years. In 2022, Gigok has amassed an impressive 3.4 million subscribers on YouTube, cementing his status as a prominent figure in the anime community, YouTube niche, and entertainment industry as a whole. His ability to make a highly lucrative living off simply watching anime and reviewing it has garnered him a devout following and left many in awe of his success. But what exactly has contributed to Gigok's skyrocketing success? Let's take a closer look. One factor that played a key role in his success was his timing of entry into the YouTube world. When he first started uploading his videos, there was relatively to no competition in the anime review space, which allowed him to build a strong foundation without any distractions. If someone were to search anime on YouTube, they would have come across his channel. And since there was very few options available, they were more than likely to stay and become a fan. Gigak was able to take advantage of this early opportunity and establish him on YouTube as an on-to-go source for anime content. Another reason for Gigak's success was his genuine love and enthusiasm for anime. From the very beginning, those who stumbled on his channel were immediately drawn in by his passion for something that they also cared so deeply about. Even today, Gigak's enthusiasm is infectious and it keeps viewers coming back for more. It's clear that his love for anime is the driving force behind all his content and the authenticity that shines through through each video. And finally, Gigok's exceptional script writing skills are on another level. He has a way with words and he knows exactly how to put them and convey certain emotions and feelings. With his outstanding humor and just the right timing, his well-crafted scripts are engaging and it makes him a natural storyteller. He keeps the viewers captivated from start to finish, and he has an overall charisma about himself. Overall, Gigok is a testament to the fact that if you have a big dream and you're willing to work towards it, success is inevitable, just like Thanos. For Gigok, anime wasn't just a hobby, it was a way of life, it was his passion, his joy, his source of fulfillment, and his way to escape the world. He puts everything he has into it, and that dedication and drive paid off in a very big way. Gigok's story is an inspiration to all of us. It shows that if you're truly passionate about something and willing to work for it, you can achieve great things. So don't be afraid to chase your dreams, no matter how big or ambitious. If a weeb like Gigok can do it, you definitely can. I'm just joking, please don't attack me. He is straight up waifu material. But in any case, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe for more anime re related content, more stuttering, and most importantly, stay goofy, stay hydrated, and I love you. Thank you for watching.